Hello, my YouTube yarny friends. What you are looking at is my yarn unhaul. That's right. I have decided about two or three weeks ago, I need to start parting with some of my yarn um, that I've had for a long time that either I've tried it, I'm not crazy about using it, which is mostly what this is. Um, some things I haven't even opened. Like there's a lot of this like Premier yarn here that I got from AC Moore um, when there was an AC Moore. And I've tried it. I made a couple of prams out of it and I'll explain what that is later. Um, but I, I'm not really crazy about it. And then I have uh, a little mountain of homespun that um, I started, I was going to use all of that to make a ginormous blanket with um, on the loom and I decided nope I'm not gonna do that I'm gonna finish where I'm at and I'll show you that in a little bit as well and where I'm finished at I'm gonna be done with and whatever's left of that blue yarn will join the party some Christmas color yarn that was my mother's and I'm not crazy about Christmas color yarn I'm just gonna be honest so um, some candy shop a mountain of that some cotton yarn some more cotton yarn I got this I really liked it when I saw it I actually no I did I did start working with it and it's like yeah so get rid of that this is just a uh, cotton yarn I got from AC Moore some baby blanket yarn or this thick yarn I don't know what you call it anyway but, well it's this was a stitch by Nicole yarn it's like blanket yarn I don't like blanket yarn and this is loops and thread. I had a buttload of that. Made some hats with it. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> Time to move on. Some more loops and thread. Thick yarn. Um, home. Town. Yarn. Big twist. I don't know. AC More Classic. This green yarn here. Some brunette softy. Chunky. Scarfy yarn. And this ginormous there's a paint pan on the floor that my husband he was painting this room and uh he's still in the process it's not it's all dry in here so this yarn is so thick what is this at number i don't know 10 i have no idea what it's seven i don't even think there's such things a 10 yarn i don't know it could be anyway seven and i purposely purchased this nice wooden crochet hook which is a number yep 25 Blurry. There we go. A U. Specifically for this yarn, I did like try to crochet with it and I didn't like it. <laughs> so I said, yeah, uh, that's okay. So this might be like a part one. And this also like nail ends. This was again uh, stitched by, sti I'm sorry. Stitched by Nicole. Yeah, stitched by Nicole. It's like a lavender and this is, I think, black. Yeah, some black yarn. And so I'm going to take it to um, one of the yarn groups, the Crochet Guild that I belong to up in uh, Manassas, Virginia. And uh, somebody had brought some that was a donation at, from their church. And the ladies there went like a little crazy over it. So I was like, and they were like, hey, do you want to go check out some yarn? I'm like, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> I got so much yarn at home. I, no. So I did ask, I was like, can can I bring yarn that I want to part with? Can I bring it? And they were like, yeah, sure. I'm like, thank you. So I had, when I was sitting in my room, I started pointing at stuff. I'm like, yep, that can go, that can go, that can go. And and today I just like took it all out of my craft room. I actually had it on the bed. The bed was not made up. And I was like, you know, you should at least put a spread on the bed if you're going to show this in your video, Cynthia. So I had to flip it all off the bed. There's like this foam topper that it was on and I just flipped it off and then put the cover on and then put all the yarn back together. But then, well, not back together. Before it was just piled, just mixed up and piled. But then I have it kind of grouped. So I just have to figure out what's the best way to get it to them. And I'll probably, I have a gazillion like, reusable shopping bags so i'll probably pack them like by category or you know groups or something like that i'll probably do it that way i don't know let me cut the light off because i'm done in here all right we're gonna go over to my craft room which is right next door 
And I hope my video doesn't cut off. Turn your Hello. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this into my little holder thing here and hope I don't hit the power button to the phone. There. All right. There we go. Yay, success. Nose is itchy. Allergies have been acting a little crazy lately. All right, hi. So, I'll talk about some things that I've been working on. So, first let me start with the blanket. I didn't do a whole lot. I haven't done a whole lot recently. Oh, come on, get a little untwisted. But I'm, I'm pretty much, like I said, when I was in showing the other yarn, yeah. So, I have the top half, this is the short row here. And then I have this one long row and when I get down to the bottom of that, I'm done. I still have like a big part of the skein on the yarn holder and I still have like four skeins over there on the shelf of the blue yarn. And once I'm done with the blanket, I'm, I'm done with the yarn. If there's a skein or so left, so be it. It will be join the party, like I said. All right, oh, I left everything too far away from me. All right, hold on, sorry. Okay, so I mentioned um, that with the the Premier yarn, it's nice, it's soft. Um, I think it's a number five. So it's like a little, this is just a corner to corner. This is a pram, and um, I'm just going to put a little disclaimer out there. So um, I hope this is not triggering for anyone. If it is, please forgive me and I'm sorry. I'm not going into any kind of details about anything, but um, I'm sorry. I'm looking on my wall and I have a loom that's on the wall and it looks like it's about to fall. So hold on one second. There. there we go. Um, it's on a hook and it looks like it's about to pop off. But anyway, so... I have this um, sew in the end. So prams are, if you don't know, um, they're just like little cuddles. I think that's the other word they use is cuddles. So children who have to unfortunately go through um, a forensic exam because they were assaulted, um, they, they give these to them. This is particularly for a hospital in Kentucky, I believe it's in Kentucky. And so we're making plans for children or victims, usually children, um, down there. And then I guess, so what was explained to me was that they basically, the, the child or the, the victim has a paper that they're holding on to while they're going through this um, exam. And, um, and so instead of having them clutching onto a piece of paper, um, they give them the, the, the cuddle to hold on to. And it's a little more comforting than a piece of paper. So... Um, yeah, so I made, I've made a couple of them, um, so that's one of the projects. I actually, this, this was our incidental make, <laughs> I guess. I don't know how to explain it. So this is the first time I had used the Premier yarn and I made this V stitch pattern little cuddle, um, a long time ago. Oh, I think I need to finish that. That end is not done whoopsies um so i had it and had it and, and had like more skeins of yarn i was just like it was not my favorite thing to work with so i just kind of like put it off and so when i was going through and kind of like straightening up and figuring out what i was going to part with and stuff i came across this i was like oh this is about the size of a, of a cuddle so i was like you know what i will add this to the cuddle bunch um and then i this is another one that i made um, with Premier yarn. It's one of my favorite yarns. It's really pretty. So that one. And then this I made with the, what's that yarn called? Oh, I can't see it over there. Um, oh, darn. I am drawing a blank. It's right there. Let me see if I can grab it. Well, of course I can grab it. Latte cakes, yes. Ah! Wreck my room. Yep, that's me. Wreck the room. Anyway, nothing fell over. I caught it. 
Um, so with the latte cakes, because I have two that are, I just have like a single cake. Actually, I remembered I did have like two of this color way, which I have no idea what it is, and two of this like yellow um, and gray and white color way. Um, and I made something with the other, like one cake of each of them um, for two separate people. And so I thought, well, you know what, this is really soft. And like, so I'll probably um, continue to make the, these cuddles with that yarn um, as well. So those are the ones I made for next month or I might make some more. I probably will. And then I also made these, um, so another pro project we're doing is um, a little baby hats, preemie hats. So this was a crocheted preemie hat. And I just did that with some baby yarn um, I got from Michaels a, a long time ago. This one was knitted. I'm going to be honest, the knitted one is my favorite one. It's smaller, but it's more stretchy. I really like that. And speaking of these little hats, that's it for that anyway, I got a new knit set. Or I should say a set of knitting needles. So this is um, Knitter's Pride. The Mindful Collection. I think you can see that. This is actually a pretty cool thing. I ordered mine off of uh, web. So I think it's like yarn.com, but it's a, or web.com. They, you know, there's a yarn supply store. Came with this cute little pouch. It's you got some notions and things in there. Extra little cords. I ordered more cords. So it comes with a, uh, I think two eights and two, um, what size cords do they come with? Yeah, two cords, um, two 10 inch and two 12 inch um, cords. And this 25. Uh, no, that's separate. I'm sorry. I'm, looking, I'm reading this wrong. It came with, um, I think it was two 8 and two 10 inch cords, actually. And then I ordered um, like a 60 inch, a 16, and a 32, I believe. And it comes with some other little accessories, you know, like um, ends to the caps and the, the needle that you need to... Um, put on your interchangeable. So it's an interchangeable set. You also get this little hand exercise booklet. That's pretty cool. It's tricky. So like how to, you know, I don't know if you can see that. And this is the back side, is it the same? No, it's a little different. So some exercises to do for good hand health. <laughs> I just made that up, but yeah. And this is what this set looks like. And I got short needles and I purposely wanted short needles. It's my scissors I put in there that didn't come with it. But there. So these are uh, two and a half inch knitting tips and I like them and let me tell you when I was and I actually made this this baby hat for the most part with the 10 inch circular um, cord it's because um, no I'm sorry I think it was the 12 inch circular cord because you know a 16 inch um, circular cord is too big for a baby hat and I could have done it on DPNs the whole time. I honestly didn't want to. So I was like, well, let me try the 12 inch cord with the, you know, the short tips makes it easier to try, you know, to do the knitting than with a long tip that's, it won't bend um, for you. And so I did it until I need, until, I mean, I even got, I, I was even able to do some of the decrease and um, I even put it down to the 10 inch cord. And then I did eventually have to do DPNs, but I was able to knit with, with the cord um, for 
quite a while from the majority of the hat, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so I'm glad I got this little investment. I like them. Um, they're like really pointy at the top, so they're thin. Um, well, I've seen pointier. It might hurt when you're pushing down. You also get this little um, needle gauge in it. It's pretty. And a pouch for more notions that come with it. So this is where the little pen to tighten the cord. So it looks like it looks almost like a straight pin, but it's not a straight pin, like a sewing uh, straight pin. And then you have you know stitch markers, different kinds of stitch markers in there. You have the rings and the removables. Some sewing needles or donning needles. I usually use metal ones, so I actually did put um, a little case of metal sewing needles uh, in here. Yeah, let's put it. So, yep. So I got a set of interchangeables, and with that, along with like decreasing stuff. So I have a bunch of knitting needles. And the cord is so honorary, 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 yeah, honorary. <laughs> it's so stiff. Um, like, they're kind of like these, this like black cord, but they're fixed. So this, is, I know, is a Knitter's Pride adapt um, adjustable cord. And I can't get this piece off, this particular cord, because the needle itself is plastic and it cracked. And I cannot get this thing off. But anyway, this one's a little more flexible. But then there's some fixed ones that are just, they're just too rigid. So I have them, I separated them out from my, um, what do you call them? Ch chukas or chokas or whatever. The one with the red cord. I have a few of those. I like those. Um, and the ones that are, I, I'm not so crazy about. I actually got them from Ace Moore. <laughs> um, and... I will likely part with those as well because I don't like them and, and it's no sense of me keeping them. I probably will not use them. So I'm also just give them away to somebody that um, might find use for them and don't have a problem with the stiffness and the rigidity of the cord. So, all right, I have a little notebook. So I started, I just want to make sure I covered stuff that I want to talk about. Okay. so. Let me move the little hats and things out the way. And talk about my new project that I am excited about. All right, so I'm going to try to pull this up on my computer for you to see because, well, I can try to show you the picture, but honestly, um, the ink in my printer is running out, the color ink. And so you, it's really hard to see. I'm going to show it to you anyway. This scarf here. But I'm going to show you a better picture. So this is actually a free pattern that I got off of. I think I... It says hedgehogfibers.com, but I know I didn't get it from there. I think I got it off of the yarn.com, which is also the web's um, yarn site. I think that's where I got it from. Because I literally went from... One site to another site. I was on um, Rob's, the guy, this guy that does a uh, hat. Sorry, drawing a blank. I literally went from his site to another site, and I can't remember where where, where I actually saw this. Um, so, but anyway, um, let me get into this real quick so I can try to show you. It's, it's okay. It is okay, y'all. <laughs> oh, good grief. Oh, there's a glare in my window. From the window. Two seconds. Because I don't want to take my phone off the holder because it's hard with it having the outer box um, case on it. It's really hard to uh, get it into the selfie stand. Thing. So that's better. Yeah, that's that's better. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, then my other one that wants to show glare too, honestly. 
Well, anyway, I don't know. I hope you can kind of see that. Anyway, it's really, it's really pretty. And it's super easy, too. Um, I have been wanting to find a pattern like that, that some, there's, there's a lot of different patterns. It's an asymmetric shawl, and it is a knit pattern. So, um, show you the diagram, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen this before, and maybe have even made, um, one or two yourself. So, it has a center decrease. You can see that. Okay, so this line that's going up the center there, it's going up the center, you know, it, it goes, um, and then until it, there's no more center. So, some people, what they do for every section is because it's knits and pearls, and you have the center decrease. Um, the, for for the 20 rows, at least this pattern has 20 rows. Like in the beginning, they may do this like six row. This one here has like six rows, that little tiny, tiny triangle. That's the setup. And they might want to do that in one color. And then the first set of 20 um, rows, you might want to do like pink and the next might be purple and the next might be blue you know whatever so you can change it up i did not do that this time i'm sure that's going to come down the line so what i have been using um and it does call for worsted weight but i'm sure that you can do this pattern in whatever weight you want um just know obviously the thicker the yarn you might not have to do so many repeats um and the thinner the yarn you may have to do some more repeats um, just just so that you can have some volume right so I had this red heart roll with it I've had a couple of different colors and this was one of them and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it for the longest time this is another one that I had for a long long time but when I saw this pattern and specifically when I saw the colors on her shawl um, in the picture I was like I know what yarn I can use for that without having to go through all the color changes and all that because I think she used like different colors like different yarns for hers and you can do that you can use two different um, uh, yarns that are self-changing on, on whatever you want do it however you want but for me I didn't want to go through all that because first of all I had never done a center decrease um, before really easy to do and so this is mine I'm now at the part of what they call the body and it still includes a center decrease so it starts off this like my tip is I may have knitted it just a little bit too tight it's possible um, but it starts way down here this little tip and actually I'm showing you the back side I'm sorry so the front side there we go the front side has the center decrease so you can kind of see that and it's literally knits and pearls. Um, the pattern tells you when to do it. So sometimes you'll get some stock in that on one side and like garter on the other side. <laughs> so, and then it's times so we have garter on both. So this yarn, you know, it's just doing its thing, changing the color on its own. And so now I'm at the point where I, I am done with the increase and then so I'm the increase ends here when you get to this line here so basically it's um, section eight sections for this part here each section is 20 rows um, row one row two so there's 10 sets or 20 rows however you want to think about it and then um, after you get to the center part you start working on the body. So there's no more increase, but there's going to be a shift. And I'm telling you at, at first, because I just started that, I'm actually on the first uh, 20 rows. Like I think I just finished row 15 or something today. Um, and I'm like, I, I hope I'm doing this right because there's no actual like decrease. You're just, there is a, there is a decrease because there's a center de decrease, right? So as you still increase one stitch, because you do knit front and back on one end, normally throughout you're doing knit front and back on both ends, the beginning and the end, beginning and the end. And so now on the row one, you're gonna do a knit front and back for the first stitch, 
in the beginning of the row. And when you get to the other side, at the end of the row, you don't increase. And when you turn it, you don't increase on row two. You just, in, when you start, when you get to the end of row two, that's the increase side, and then you're gonna increase. Um, so it's just gonna start shifting. And right now, because I'm literally like in the first section of it, there's not, I don't see it. So I'm like, I, I, I hope I, I'm doing this right. And um, because you are still doing the um, the um, center um, double decrease, the center, yeah, decrease stitch, you're losing a stitch, essentially. So I hope I explained that right. Uh, I will try to link the pattern and the um, description. But yeah, it's really easy. Um, it's a pretty fast, I would say fast. I mean, obviously I work full time and I cannot spend my entire day knitting as much as I would love to. I just can't live that life right now. <sighs> but I started this, I would say the last weekend because I think when I, on Monday, and mind you, when I started it, like my center line here was totally jacked up. I, I didn't know what I was doing um, for starters, which was okay. And then when something else was like, I don't know, something else went wrong. I forget what it was. And I was like, you know what? I'm not that far into it. Let me just take it out and start all over. And so I think Monday, I only had like this much done, maybe something like that it was it was not a whole lot it could have been it could have been half but I, I think it was like less than half and now I'm basically on part two of this uh, lovely scarf I cannot wait to be done with this in a sense like so I can just wrap it around me so it for the worst it way it calls for about 750 yards I believe of yarn um, and look y'all, I am still on the first cake. Still on the first cake. I might be able to finish out the 20 rows that I'm working on with this. Um, but if I, if I don't, it's okay. Uh, so I have my second row. It's sitting in the basket waiting. And I'm using uh, this. <laughs> This needle set. I think it's Chopa, Chica, C H A O, whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. If you're a knitter, you know what I'm talking about. So this one's a 60 inch cord, and it's gonna fill it up with no problem there. Put that back in there. Um, so yeah, so I have a couple more, you know, different colors that I'm gonna um, make with that. I have. Some other yarns hanging around that I'm like, oh yeah, I can make it with that and that and that. And I plan on doing that. So yeah. So what else we got to talk about? Did that, talked about that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yep. So yeah. So that's pretty much I think I covered all my bases. See my little notepad? Yeah. Okay. It's okay if you didn't see what I wrote down. Um But yeah, so that's what I've been up to, just working, working on this pattern. I did buy a project um, called the Night Shawl. I have not started that yet because that one is a mosaic um, pattern. I'm, I'm gonna grab it. It's right here. That's the thing that was pushing my loom forward because I have it hanging. A different hook. But anyway, that's pretty cool. So this is Night Shift by um, Dreer of Dreer Renee Kids. No, that's not who the that's not who made this. It's somebody Maori. Hold on, hold on. I did get this from this kit from Greenwood Hand. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Greenwood Hand Dye. Yes, GreenwoodFibers.com. Um, they're in Utah, in Utah. So this pattern, if you haven't heard of it before, is by Andrea Maori, yes. And 
Greenwood has different um, colorway kits. The denim one was gone, which is okay. Um, and so they they basically you know have a couple of different colorways. They had I think three or four different colorways, and um, I thought this one was really pretty. And it's I believe it is a worsted weight yarn. I have to get my. Uh, I have to, you know, spin them up into a cake them up. So I have to get my little thing out. I'm drawing a blank on the name of it. Um, it's going to come to me when it so doesn't matter. I hate when that happens. But I have the, the word like right there. And I just can't think of what it is. So, but anyway, so I don't know when I'm going to start working on this. Um, what I probably will do is use a different set of yarns to try it out first. Yeah, because I have n I've done crochet mosaic. I've showed I've shared um, that with you guys before, but I've never done knitting mosaic. I've done some Fair Isle, and and I really enjoy that too. And I'm gonna make some more like hats and whatever. Um, and I've been watching my videos. It doesn't seem too complicated, but you definitely got to pay attention. At least I do. <laughs> I still I still have to look at my work because I don't want to miss a stitch or drop a stitch and realize that that happened. And, and then knitting especially, it's just, it can be fixed, um, but it's, it's just not like crochet. Crochet is much easier to fix. Uh, well, one of the things I, I did start using with um, the scarf that I'm making is a lifeline and I almost had to use it and when I didn't use it I forgot to so what I've been doing was like at the end of the 20 rows and I st going to start the next section I put another lifeline in and I forgot to do it I don't know if you can see that little divot right there I think I was like two rows up and I'm like oh man how in the world did I do that I know exactly when I did that I was um, sitting on my bed. It was, it was, you know, just settling down for the night, and I was knitting, and I was watching something, and apparently I did not pay attention to the fact that I was supposed to do a. I think I, I think I knitted the center double um, decrease instead of doing the center double decrease, um, and I was like, I am not going back to fix that. And I had, and I knew I forgot to put the lifeline in. I was like, "Oh, it'll be okay." <laughs> yeah, famous last words, right? Well, now I have a little divot in my scarf. But guess what? When you make things by handmade, sometimes you get little divots. And if it's if it was for somebody else, I would be like, "Man, um, I'm gonna have to see if I can kind of fudge it and like create." A, like v-stitch right there um, so it doesn't look like it's missing but since it's for me I'm gonna live with that that little imperfection it's quite all right <laughs> so um, but yeah but that's pretty much it just enjoying that um, I am so good with like the yarn that I'm parting with um, like I said that might be just part one I may be parting with some more there's some projects I still plan to do I you know um, and I have the yarn to do it. Like there's some mosaic things that I want to do, uh, some wraps and things that I want to make, and I have the yarn to do it. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll get around to doing it. Um, yeah. So that's where we are. And when I finished the blanket, my dad asked me to make him a, a throw. And I started when I started the loom blanket. Um, first, I was just gonna like make it and put it on our bed, but I think I might make it and give give it to my dad. So, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. And then his will be done. <laughs> Call it cheating, <laughs> whatever. It's all good. So, all right, good people. Um, that's all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and if you want to know when I post again, please subscribe. Um, I do like um, your comments and things. I know I've been absentee for a minute and you know life is busy it's summertime so I do hope you guys stay hydrated stay cool use your sunblock don't get crispy and burnt um, and you know stay well enjoy life okay 
And until the next time, peace out.